on Rooted, we're going to make a jackfruit pie. And so I, I didn't find any recipes on a jackfruit pie. So what I'm kind of basing this on is just one of my favorite apple pie recipes. We've made a few modifications to it, and we're going to see how this turns out. Okay, so we've got roughly five pounds of jackfruit. This is maybe maybe about half of a you know large-ish size jackfruit. Uh, I know that's not very specific, but about five pounds. And so then what we're going to add now is we're going to put in one cup of cane sugar. And then we're going to put in a quarter cup of packed brown sugar. All right, we're going to put in a half a teaspoon of lemon zest, just the zest of about, about half a lemon. And I'm also going to use a fourth teaspoon of salt. We're going to use the juice from about half a lemon. And then we're going to use an eighth a teaspoon of cinnamon. You can also sprinkle in some nutmeg there if you want to make it a little bit spicier. So now we're going to get all of our ingredients mixed together. You can use a spoon. I like to just throw some gloves on and really get in there. One thing I want to do too is kind of break these up into smaller pieces. And like I said, this pie is inspired by an apple pie. So think about, you know, just pieces you would use to make an apple pie. I'm going to go ahead and transfer this over to a Dutch oven. And we're going to actually cook it down for about 20 minutes. This is what I do with apple pies as well. And I think what makes for the best apple pies, and we're going to try it with jackfruit too, is to partially cook the fruit before you add it to the pie crust. I think you just get a better consistency. You get something that's already a little more broken down. And, uh, and I think it really, really makes the flavor pop. All right, so we're going to take our dough. It's been chilled in the refrigerator. I'm going to cut it in half. So we're going to have a bottom and a top side. We're going to get this rolled out. I'm going to roll it out to about, about 10 inches or so. Okay, we have our dough rolled out. We've cooked down our jackfruit a little bit, so it's now nice and soft. And we're ready to put it into our pie dish. It already smells fantastic. So our sugar and everything is already nicely caramelized. These flavors, too, will be really well integrated. I like to add a few additional pads of butter. If you have any additional sauce in your pan, there shouldn't be a whole lot left, but just throw those on the top. I like to put them on top of the little pads of butter to get them to start melting away. Okay, from here, we're gonna add the top of our crust. I'm just gonna toss it over there like that. We're gonna remove any of the excess dough so we can work around the edge, just kind of trimming it up. Or you can roll it up, put it back in the fridge, and save it for something different. Okay, so from here, we're just going to pinch the sides of our pie crust together. So we get a nice seal. My mother's way better at this than I am. Yeah, the important thing is that we try to keep the juices inside the pie. So if we don't get these two layers nicely sealed off, you could have a pie that's just going to make a mess in your oven. I've also got a sheet tray underneath where this pie is going to sit, so that if we do have any juice that comes out, it will get captured there. We're going to make a few little ventilation holes. Okay, one final touch that we're going to add to our pie before it goes into the oven is a light egg wash. So these are just whipped up egg whites. We're going to basically just mix them up to where it's a nice, almost foamy consistency. And so this gives a nice glaze to the surface of it, and it really helps with the browning process. And I think it also adds a really nice crispy texture. So we just want to coat everything. You can be you can be pretty generous with it, although we don't want to make it wet. So just a nice, even coating. Our oven's preheated for 425. We're going to go and pop the pie in the oven. We're going to leave it in there for about 25 minutes. Then we're going to reduce the heat to 375, give our pie a little 90 degree rotation, and then we're going to cook it for another 25 to 30 minutes. So really all we're looking for in that last cook is a nice golden crust. You should see some juice bubbling up through the little ventilation holes that we've made. And that's how we know the pie is ready. Then it's going to come out of the oven. We're going to cool it for about two hours, and that just allows everything to kind of set and congeal so that when we cut it open, our ingredients don't end up, you know, all over our plate, but they more or less stay together. So let's, let's get, our, get our pie started here. All right, our timer's gone off. Our pie is ready, and that guy looks beautiful. So we're going to let this cool off for about two hours, and then it's going to be ready to eat. I can't wait to try this. This pie is absolutely delicious. I have to say jackfruit pie is a success.